freedom remains a distant dream. Among the government graffiti is the slogan, Socialism or Death, which could be read more as a warning than a call to patriotism. Housing, medical care, and education are all free, but look at what's missing from this picture. This has to be the only harbor in the islands that has no boats. The government restricts ownership because many Cubans would sail away. Every neighborhood is organized under its own Committee for the Defense of the Revolution. The CDRs hold neighborhood meetings and every Cuban has to attend. A lot of them hate that. Because the government runs just about everything, 80% of the Cuban people are government employees and they get paid pretty much the same. Somewhere between $20 and $50 a month, it doesn't really matter much whether you're a street sweeper or an accountant. They also get one of these. It's a food ration book. It covers things like eggs and milk and meat and rice. The food that is purchased with these ration books is virtually free, but it's supposed to last a month, and any Cuban will tell you it lasts about 10 days. Stomachs may grumble, but not too loudly. Hector Maceda Gutierrez went to prison for criticizing rations, pay, and medical care. And yet he was willing to do it again with us. They can't make extra copies of the sheet music either. Unfortunately, we could not Xerox the music because there is no Xerox machine. At a university? At a university. university. Right. No copy machine. Can't afford one. And they can't email it. Only 5% of Cubans are connected to the World Wide Web. It's about the lowest percentage on Earth. In the new agreement, America added an exception to the embargo, U.S. Internet technology. This could be a game changer down the line. For example, Castro first permitted cell phones in 2008. And after that, the U.S. brought in tens of thousands of phones and gave them away for free. We believe that lighting up the island um, is going to make a major uh, change here. Lighting up the island in terms of connecting it to yes. the World Wide Web? Yes. Darkness has been lifting slowly. Raul Castro, who took over from his brother, has allowed some small business and real estate ownership. And last year, he largely lifted the ban on travel. And I wonder now, in this building, how many Cubans come to you looking for visas to the United States? 500 a day, sometimes more. Uh, 500 a day? 500 a day. You yes. process 500 we, Cubans a day we, looking for visas to go to the United States? Yes, we do. Seems remarkable when you consider an entire generation of Cubans has been taught their suffering is imposed by America and its embargo. But even that was something most Cubans couldn't buy. They're too far from Marx, too close to Miami. They pirate American TV signals, love jazz, baseball is the national pastime, and two million family members live in America. Most any Cuban will tell you, in a whisper, they're poor because socialism is bankrupt.